Let's go over how to measure a drill. We begin by making sure that the taper is clean by wiping it with a lint-free cloth. Once we know it's clean, we can put it into our spindle. Clean the tool site of all dirt and debris with a piece of masking tape or putty. Let's begin by inspecting the cutting edges using the surface light inspection. We can always use a slider bar to adjust the light intensity for better clarity. Once we know the cutting edges are acceptable, we can now measure the tool runout. But before we do, it's always recommended to measure with the front light off. By clicking the tool runout icon or the red arrow, we can initiate the tool runout function. The tool runout dial indicator will show the location on the tool that will be measured, whereas the X marker represents the current dial indicator value graphically. Rotate the spindle and find the low point using the live indicator. Once the low point is found, click the lock unlock icon next to the low point line to hold its location. Now let's find the high point using the dial indicator. Now that we found the high point, we can click on the high point icon so that we can lock this location. Once the low and the high point lines are established, the runout display will be updated with the current tool runout. Let's click on this number to freeze the display. And now that we have the runout, we can select the geometry mode button so that we can get back into high point mode to measure the tool diameter. Use the focus gauge to ensure you're at the highest point. Our diameter is showing as 0.2141 inches. Now we can hold the x-axis. Now let's move the presetter so we can measure the length. You can see the length in real time in the z-axis digital readout. We're going to use the theoretical intersection to get a more accurate measurement that will relate back to the PAR program. The programmer programmed this feature from the theoretical start point. So let's measure the theoretical intersection of the tip of the tool by putting the crosshairs into edge tracking mode. Now we can print a label and we're all set to go. This concludes the origin training video. You can refer to the operation manual for more information on measuring and inspecting tools. And from all of us here at Parlec, we would like to thank you for purchasing your Origin Presetter. And don't forget to keep us in mind for all of your high precision tool holding, boring, tapping, and presetting needs.